<clears throat> Alpha, Alpha, my people, how are you doing? Sure, you're doing amazingly well. Good morning. Hope you guys are having an amazing time. I know the world is really, really, really having the world has malaria now. I know, but you know. The key is family. Family is key. Take care of your family. Family is key, guys. You guys gotta take care of your family. Oh yeah. Now, nah, that's the thing. So I know there's a lot of things going on. We are trying to fight for fight black, whites. Just let's just 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 pray for the world, Biko. You feel me? Let's just pray for the world. Pray for yourself to pray for your family and gonna be cool so guys i really want to um say i'm sorry because i'm actually shooting this video on my phone because the guy i source my lights from i think he has malaria or something so i'm trying to be you know <laughs> we are trying to press more break because malaria now eh, be cool you know what i'm saying so malaria now we have to be really mm -hmm. so we are looking for other sources to get good lights to shoot our videos and get it on a DSLR, a DSLR and you know. so guys let's get down to what we have for you today so two weeks ago i started a series on um, artistry where i broke down artistry into solo artists and um, music band and i explained some few things about um the second part which is the music band where i talked about uh, what artistry is all about and i explain some things to you so today we are going to be body back into that same music um band um ish you know what i'm saying film it so we're going to go into that and i'm going to press the talk to further you get me you feel me <laughs> so that is what we're going to be talking about today so i'm going to reference back on some things that we said in the previous one then i continue from there you dig on you feel on so guys um in the previous um, video i talked about artistry i said um artistry simply refers to the brand the way the people see your audience the way they relate to you what they see about you you get my point you know you could be a normal guy and your brand as an artist could be a very weird looking person you get what i'm saying you see artistry really it doesn't end at you having a good voice and going to the studio to sing artistry ends as the way now i'm not saying the way they the way you, you have to monitor every single stage artistry has to do with the way the music will end up at the final consumer that is your audience or the people streaming your song or the people on or the people um listening to your song on the radio in their car stereo anywhere so you have to be particular about the input that is the beginning of the processing of your music and your image and the way the music will sound in the audience so that is why i always tell music bands it is very important that you guys Hey, hey, hear me uh, hear me now it's very important you guys have a dedicated sound engineer as your team member that's why you see a lot of uh, 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 um, rich music bands they have music producers they have sound engineers they have mix engineers these guys are the people that help them to have the brand the the the, 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 the art they are the artistry the artistry artistry really is not just about the person it's about the entire uh, um, 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 the entire chain of people involved in this thing so artistry is not just about one person it's not just about you it's about you your music producer your sound engineer you know you know your lightning guys the people that make up the body of your brand your manager, your record label, everything. But we won't be going deep into that. We'll just be focusing on a few things because it's a deep topic. So if you want me to press for that for you guys, maybe for your church or maybe for your record label, uh -huh. you know what to do. Just type my number. 
that might not ban Halla, 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 Halla. So, guys, um, that's just it. So, it's very important that you must be specific about um, mm-hmm. the people you use. That's why you see people like um, um, uh, Metallica. Their engineer is one of the highest paid engineers. You know, you know, they go for the best. Sit in Godfrey, Nigeria. The sound engineer is the best, if not even the best, one of the best, or even, if not even the best in Nigeria we have. A lot of to Samuel also too, he has a dedicated engineer. So when you are going to perform live, you can get them. I have my own band that I, I have some other, I have bands that I consult for. There are some bands that I go out with them, and I have a new band I'm working with. Those guys, are, those, are, those guys are going to be on hot kit very soon. I have a new band I'm working with, and you know, for me, we are we are creating from the start. Like we are probably doing artistry. That's what we are doing. We are not just doing commercial music. We are we are going into artistry. Commercial music is just a part of artistry. That is just one part to make sure that the music is good. But the live performance too is, in, is very is very important. That you know when you talk about the dancers, the choreographers, you know the, you can even put a little bit of uh, uh, drama by, by bringing actors and actors to the stage for your music. All these things are involved in artistry. So let me come back home before I go into another direction that um, we don't want to start now. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say here is that you know it's very important that you have the right personnel in your bank, in your in your in your niche, in, 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 in your cycle, in your chain. You need them because these people are professionals. They help you to achieve your goals. You cannot achieve your goals by using this guy today, using that one tomorrow. Using you will be scattered. What makes an artist an artist is that simple and very, very simple consistency. We go to a live concert, we hear them, they sound like this. We go to another concert, we hear them, they sound like this. No, they have to sound almost the same. The only difference should just be the hall. That is why a lot of these bands are brought. They invest in console, they invest in sound engineers because they know how their instruments should sound. They don't even have an issue with them, they just come to the stage to come and do a line check, to come and do a, their sound check, and guys, they are good to go. So it's very important that you get the right personnel, you get the right personnel, or else to be candid. I'm not saying bands that don't have sound engineers won't be successful, but there's a limitation to the way uh, um, they can charge based on the fact of the quality of what they can they, 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 they can guess. They don't have a professional inboard. I'm not saying he has to be there all the time. If you're going to perform, call him along. Guy, are you free today? Sir, are you free today? If he's like, please just follow us. You can't, you might not even give him anything. So, relationships too matters. You have to develop a very strong relationship with him. That's why that when you even call him, he will be willing to come. It's not the time that you call him and you'll be writing him and be, you know, all those things. You have to create a good relationship too. So, it has to be like a family thing. So when you're going to perform live, you might have to give him something. But if you're going to do your concert, you're going to pay him, obviously. You get my point, guys. So it's very important to keep a good rela- a good working relationship with your 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 artistry um, personnel, the people involved. Relationship is key. Relationship is, relationship is more important than money, guys. You can make me come and mix for events without collecting a cover. Because the fact that I don't know you, it is just the way you talk, it's the way you communicate, it's the relationship that we have. You get my point? So it's very important. So also, I see a lot of people talk about experience. They say experience is the best teacher. Fantastic, fantabulous. You know what I'm saying? But guys, don't forget that the world is evolving. Things are changing. New challenges are coming up. So for a music band here. Yeah, for you to evolve, you have to be able to be. You have to be able to move alongside the the, the vibes of the, um, what is changing. No, we are not, I'm not saying you should change your music, change your style, change your texture. But there are some things that are going to be arising. There are some things that your audience will be wanting. They like your music, but because of the based on the fact that things are changing, the world is moving. You, you, you know, the heart is moving, so you have to evolve with it. But experience, now what I'm trying to say is that experience on its own is not enough to make you guys productive. I'm not saying you don't need experience. You need experience because the advent of information and technology has made sure that experience is just a foundation. It is where you want to start. It is not where you are going. What I mean about this is, a lot of people say that um, we, we, 
you have mentors that you that maybe you have a band or a, an artist that you like so much and you know um you 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 you, you look up to them what i'm saying is learn something from them gain their experience but build on it because the technology out there has enhanced experience it is not changing experience it is enhancing experience it's making work and life easier for you so why not embrace these things and you know i talked about um, um the use of waves and uad plugins you can make use of all those things too i don't know if i talked about it I, I, i'm not sure if i talked about it in the live but i think i I think I put it on, on my Instagram page um, at um, additional eighty-eight on Instagram that I talked about the um, use of UAD plugins live and Weaves plugins live through a server. So all these things, they've made life easier for you, you know, but you know, when you gain experience, add something to it. This brain God gave to us, he didn't give us to duplicate, he gave it for us to create. When God gave us forest, He gave us forest to make chairs, tables, you know. When we have crude oil, He gave us crude oil to make fuel, to make kerosene. All these things, these things are coming to us in raw. Experience is what you learn from people, gather from people. You now have to add technology to top the notch. You get what I'm saying? So I see a lot of guys now, things that I've talked about a long time ago, I see a lot of drummers now using drum pads. You know, using triggers. You know, I I see a lot of uh, uh, um, 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 of uh, I see a lot of percussionists using tr triggers. Yeah, you know, technology has done it in such a way that um, if you are not in, if you are not a techn technologically sound person, you are gonna have issues. That is when the music producer comes in. You can have a good relationship with the music producer, that you tell them what you want to achieve. They can come up with gadgets, you know, gears that you can use to enhance your performance. There are days that you might not have all your band members available. There are some things that you can do. There are some gadgets that you can do that you can use that will, that something will just somehow a gadget can just fill in that gap of that person that is not available. That's what te technology has reduced stress and reduced the number of people that you need to perform together with for a live event. You get my point? So technology is very is a vital part. You need a music producer or a sound engineer that is vast in technology, not an obsolete person, a person that is always reading and always... Now, I'm not saying you should start buying every new gadget out there. Look at what is important, what will enhance what you are doing, not change what you are doing. What enhance, that is technology. A technology enhances. Though new techs are, no, tech are coming out every day, but technology enhances. You have to use it to enhance, not to change what you are doing. Just to be able to do hybrid mixing, we have a blend of the digital uh, um, stuff and the analog stuff, you know, they work together. So we are not trying to um, and, and pull the energy or the higher percentage to one side. We are trying to create a balance between the two so that we are achieving what we are, uh, you, know, you know, the goal of the artists. So very important that you don't forget the place of technology. Experience is good, but don't just leave it at experience. Don't leave it at, don't leave it at what people teach you. Don't leave it at what you've learned on the long run. Try and add to that. Try and put a plus to what you've learned from time, from people, from other places. You know what I'm saying? So that is very, very important and important. And for the last one before I go, you know, this topic I'm talking about is quite wise, but I'm just trying to make it very quick as possible. If you need more, you can contact me. The last one I'm going to talk about before I go has to do with uh, more of creativity. 